Hello everyone, Patrick from Freename here and today I've got very big news for you because together with Noto Network we developed our revolutionary tool for Web3 servers, the Freename Web3 DNS. Oh, you heard it right. Now you have a way to surf Web3 domains directly in your browser without the need for plugins or add-ons. You just need to set up our DNS servers either with our app or manually and you're all set. It's incredibly easy to use, so let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to navigate to our DNS download page. In here we will find um, App Store and Windows Store links. For now, for this video, you will see these links, but um, when the DNS is going to be published, you're going to find uh, App Store and uh, Windows Store links. It's the same thing, you're just going to have to download um, the DNS and save it. There we go, you unpack the zip file. There we go, we have the free name DNS installer. Sometimes, uh, since it has not uh, been uh, verified by Apple yet, you might have to uh, right click on the package and just click on open and then click on open again. And here we are on our DNS app. Uh, once it opens, as you can see, you will have uh, some instructions and some explanations on how it works. You will have uh, two clickable uh, boxes and uh, uh, send system diagnostic. Uh, this is gonna be used in case you have any problem or bugs. As of now, I am already using the um, Freename DNS um, on my computer, so I'm gonna switch back to my uh, default values DNS. This means that as of now, I am on my default settings uh, as far as DNS goes. And what you wanna do when, once you open the app is just to um, click on use free name DNS. This will change your DNS servers directly on uh, your settings. I'm gonna just do just that. Here we go, it tells you uh, the DNS value and for which interfaces it has changed uh, DNS value. So as of now I connected via Wi-Fi so it changed the DNS on the Wi-Fi. I just click OK. And now I am ready to navigate the Web3. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little demo now. I'm gonna show you that um, I can natively, without any add-on, without anything, just typing on my browser, I'm gonna show you that I can navigate Web3 domains directly. So here I am on my browser, Google Chrome. I just open a new tab and I type in my personal Web3 domain, which is patpat.hodl. Be aware that here you need to add the slash at the end, otherwise the browser won't recognize that you are trying to navigate to, um, to an actual domain. So I am typed in patpat.hodl slash, which is my um, personal Web3 domain, and boom, Web3 navigation natively on any browser. I'm using Chrome now, but I could be using Safari, I could be using Opera, I could be using anything. As fast as that, resolution on a Web3 domain directly to, um, web, to a Web3 hosted uh, website right here. This is just a Web3 page that we created as a landing page for Web3 domains. You can add this one uh, also to your domain and that is gonna be on another how-to video that is gonna come out shortly. So that was it, Web3 navigation directly and natively on your browser. Okay, so as you saw, it's now incredibly easy to navigate Web3 domains. We cannot wait to see uh, how our DNS will impact the whole of Web3 and we are very much looking forward to your feedbacks and opinions. In the meanwhile, I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys the next one.